This is the plaintiff, Martin Asasugi. He says his taxi cab was illegally towed by the defendant, and when he went to retrieve it, his fenders were all banged up. The clerk at the tow yard said the guy lost control as he was backing up, but refuses to reimburse him for the repairs he had to get. He'd be fined by the city if he drove his cab in that condition. He's here suing this unscrupulous businessman for every penny of the $3,150.66 he's owed. This is the defendant, Justin Graves. He says he's not looking to tow people with the proper sticker to park in the parking lot in question. The plaintiff had no sticker in the window or inside the car, so he was towed, plain and simple. As far as the damage claim goes, preposterous. He uses state-of-the-art equipment. He doesn't touch the bumpers, and this is a frivolous lawsuit. He's accused of taxing a taxi driver. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says his cab was illegally towed by the defendant and it got messed up. The defendant says the car was legally towed. It's the case of what you did to my taxi ain't fair. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Martin Nasasui. Yes, ma'am. You are suing Justin's Towing and Storage Incorporated, represented here by Justin Graves. Yes. You're the owner. For $3,150.66 for reimbursement of your tow, your Uber, and damages to your car and lost wages. Tell me what happened. So on the second, it was Monday, April, April 2nd. April, April 2nd. So I have a parking uh, spot that is allocated to me from my complex. You can go ahead and sit down. Uh-huh. And I came back from work. I parked my car in my parking spot. In the middle of the night, he came, took my car, to their storage. Okay, this is the building you live at? This is the building and where I live. And do you always park your car there? Is, the, the parking lot is allocated to me. I pay for it every month. Okay, and do you have a parking sticker? I do have a sticker. And was a sticker on the car? The sticker was on the car. How can, can you prove to me that the yeah, sticker? Yeah, 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 because when, when he took me to the yard, I took a lot of pictures. Uh-huh, so let me see the pictures. I have a picture here where the car was in the store, although that day was a lot of rain, but you can still see, you can see in a distance, I took that picture. This was his own storage facility where, I, where he towed the car to. You can see the sticker, though it was a lot of rain, but you can see from outside. That is the only sticker they gave me. Do you and have I, any other pictures from further back? Do you have any other pictures first? Do you have any other pictures? On, 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 the, on the sticker, no. Okay. And then this is the sticker? This is the little sticker you just hung it right there. It's okay. There. And uh, I would like to, number one, see your sticker, and number two, see the paperwork that links your cab to that sticker. Okay. Do you have a picture of your tag? I took the tag, I took the tag inside the car when I opened the car. What? When I op when I finally opened the car, I took this picture. Do you have a car as well? Which car? I'm asking you, do you have another car besides the cab? Uh, my wife have a car. Right. I need to know that this isn't your wife's sticker. No, no. So what I, wait. I just, I kind of wanted to see, it's a kind of an odd sticker because... It ju it's just a plastic thing that says Kew Gardens Hills. There's no license. There's no sticker number or parking permit number um, or anything else. It's just so weird. Um, and I do see that you're being billed. I mean, I see that. Is that that bill is under your name? But it's a cab that was getting parked there, and you're being billed for parking for one. So your wife has a car. I presume that between the cab and the car, the car has a space there. And according, who's the tow, the tower? You? I was actually the tower on that date. Why is he here? Just moral support? He was with me. Okay, come on up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, was this tag on the car when you towed it? Judge, I am not authorized to tow any vehicle from the property that I'm contracted with. Yeah, show him the picture. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. That uh, displays a valid sticker. The only way I can tow a car that displays a valid sticker is it's if... It's a the, tag, not a sticker. The tag. If the management company notifies me that a certain person that rents a spot didn't pay for a month or two months, then they would authorize me... Well, what happened me. in this case? 
There was no there was no tag displayed. Okay, when I told so the this was just a regular. Was that tag displayed the way he takes that picture in the rain? Judge, that's thicker, that uh, tag wasn't displayed in the window when I told the vehicle. So what do you think could have happened? You have a theory about, about this, right? First of all, were those pictures taken on your lot or you can't tell it's too close up? They are taken on my lot. Okay, but, so uh, what, what what's your theory? Is after after um, you make payment for your vehicle and you provide your ID and we hand you a receipt, you are allowed to enter the lot to go pull your vehicle out. So he could have put the tag in the window, took a picture. or I've been contracted with that property since 2015. I have a great like a relationship with the management there, and I wouldn't jeopardize my contract to tow someone's car Someone with, a, with a tag. Someone a tag. But yes. let me ask you a question. Did the company, was this just a drive-by and you saw a cab without a tag? Security actually called me and oh, they notified did. me there was a, kid, a thing there with no tag, yes. Do tow truck companies tow illegally? What do you say? I think it can happen. I don't think all companies do, but it definitely can happen. Why are you screaming yes? Yes, because I know people who own tow truck companies and they're crooked. Ooh, that's pretty broad, going inside the courtroom. So is it by spots there? Per spot, yeah, everyone has their own uh, permitted spot. Where is um, the bill for your wife's parking space? The bill for my wife parking space? Yeah, I presume she has a tag too, right? She have a very old car, she parked it on the street. Do you have a, a statement from the uh, building saying that that cab has a valid parking space there? I mean, I, I made that contract about eight years ago. I was looking for it. I can't find it. I well, did you, go to, you didn't go to the building and find it, did you? Because I can call them. This isn't hard for me. I can just get off the bench a second, call them, and find out if it's your wife's car or your car that has a parking space there. You want me to do that? If you want to do What's going to happen if I do that? Because I'm a, like the police. Don't make me run. If you want to do that, you can do it. So your wife parks on the street, but the cab parks in the parking space. And you only have one parking space. Asking. I'm I asking every, you. Yes, do you only night. have one parking space or two parking spaces? Only one. Only one. All right. Um, now, according to, uh, were you both there when the car got towed? Yes. We Why? We, we, we ride together. Ride together. Always? Yes. yes. Always. Every tow, the two. Yes. Okay. Especially at nighttime, there's always a second driver. You tow it. You find out it's been towed. And according to yes. you, it's been damaged. Tell me about that. It, uh, there was some little dent in the, in the front passenger side and a damage to the bumper. Okay, and do you have pictures of that damage? Yes. Okay, may I see the pictures? How would a tow give a damage to both the back and the front of the car? I don't know. The driver lost control of, the, of when he was backing. This is damage in a bunch of different places. It's not, it's like a scratch here and a scratch there. You know, the kind of thing that you look for when someone's parking and um, you know, maybe they hit, they hit this there, and then a different time they hit that there, and a different time they hit this there. Are you sure you're not just trying to cash in on this? I don't know. I'm a little worried. Your Honor. Oh, I, I, I give you... Oh. <laughs> you made me run. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you made me run. We spoke to your apartment building. The only car that's on the parking contract is a Toyota Camry 2004 gray with a different tag. Would that, might that be your wife's car? The Does your wife drive a Toyota Camry 2004? Yes. <clears throat> miss, the way this you one- You call me Miss right after that? Your Honor. Mm. Don't even, don't even. You have one car on the parking contract, so exactly what you did is exactly what he thought you might have done, which is bring the parking pass with you that belongs to another car, stick it on there, and take framed pictures. That is what happened. Verdict for the defendants. Well, here comes the plaintiff. Martin, what do, you, what do you have to say to what the judge just told you? I'm not really happy with the ver verdict, to be honest. Oh, I'm sure you're not, because, because you lost. Because, because if somebody does damage, he has to pay. Yeah, but the judge thinks you lied to her. I didn't lie. It's just the tag. It's, it's, it's you, the you told the judge you only had one parking permit. It was for your car, your taxi cab. It's she called your apartment building, and that's wrong. It's it not for your taxi. What you want All me right. to tell you? Well, I lost, I lost. So You lost. Oh, you yeah. lost big time. Anyway, Sorry about thank that. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. You must exit out that door, please. Sure. Now here come the defendants. All right, I guess you're off the hook for this, huh? Yeah. 
Yes, I am. Yeah. I do it all the time. Not people. Do you carry him with you as safety? Is he like yeah. a bouncer for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. When, he needs your protection. When you're roaming the streets late at night, it's uh, good to have a... I, a, a I understand. Pressure. I totally understand. Thank you very much. You. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Harvey? Okay, Doug, by the way, I, I just want to say this. When you lie... Uh, under oath. You could also be held in contempt of court, and when a judge holds you in contempt, the consequences could be jail.